Today I am part of a rugby union line-out masterclass taken by the great Alistair Kellick, one of the best line-out practitioners of the game. Well, we're going to do a jump and uh, I should say that we're going to make this look really easy, but we're professionals, we've been doing this for a lot of years. Chris talked about all the hours of practice we do, it's actually a lot harder than it looks. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, we're going to do exactly the same line-outs, we're going to jump to the front. This is the one that Chris says he did in France for three or four years. So we'll see how good he is and then we'll take it from there. Try and do it this time without uh, Chris counting out loud how many steps he's taking. <laughs> so this time he's going to do it in his head. <laughs> bad throw, bad lift. <laughs> Just a jump. Technical point for Chris, the point of a dummy jump is to make it look as if you're jumping. Alright. <laughs> oh, <that's crazy. laughs> oh. I don't know what to tell me, it's very, very good. That's <laughs> better than me. <laughs> that, that's it. I thought Chris was very, very good there. The probably the biggest difference between what we do week in, week out is that Graham's a far better thrower than Dougie Hall. <laughs> <laughs> we spent hours and hours doing line outs, but a lot of it's just organisation. Like it's about being able to know what you're going to do when opposition don't. Uh, and we've got, I don't know how many different combinations, we've probably got between 75 and 100 different combinations. No, having a good set piece at uh, the line out is absolutely crucial to win any game of rugby. Uh, most importantly for me as a scrum half is the delivery off the top. That they, put, they know where to put the ball, they put the ball right in front of you so you can get a good pass away to the 10. Uh, we can get Richie Gray in if you want to see something, uh, some good delivery, but uh, Al's working on it. <laughs> Chris has been in Brownley. Uh, the one thing I think that's going to stop him having a full lineup career is, is <laughs> maybe his, his height. Just you need tall guys in the lineup. No, I can see that it's quite a complicated process. Obviously, they're expected to win 100% of the ball, so. Al and all the guys have to do their analysis during the week to, to see where they have to throw it, where the spaces are, and uh, to be fair, Al usually calls it to himself anyway, but uh, that's why we have a good line out and uh, I'm glad that they do the work. Oh, 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 oh. 